The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. All right. Welcome, welcome to Unhinged with the Door uh, Dork. I almost forgot my own name. The Door Dork. <laughs> <laughs> We're door hardware nerds. Get together. We knock and we slam on different door fells. Um, we learn. We laugh. Sometimes we even cry. But most importantly, we have fun while we dork out on some doors. Um, hopefully learn a little bit while we go along the way. Uh, today, we do have a very special guest, uh, Mr. Dan Glover. Uh, Dan Glover, why don't you uh, introduce yourself, tell us what you do, and then maybe a fun fact. Sure. Uh, I'm Dan Glover. I'm a product manager with Outside Lloyd Door Group. Uh, I've been with the Door Group. This will be starting my 19th year. So it's been a while. And prior to that, I did 20 years in automotive. So um, we won't bring that up. Uh, but, but they have doors too, but it works in a completely different manner. So uh, basically uh, responsible for product development and all fun things from concept to customer for the door group. And a fun fact, uh, for 30 years, I've been a Kentucky Colonel. So, uh, that, you know, I guess uh, technically I could be called Colonel Glover, but only probably in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. So uh, don't share that too much because I could get ribbed a little, so, which I don't mind. <laughs> Well, Colonel Glover, welcome to the show. <laughs> now, Dan, coming from automotive to uh, that social media question that's been going around, are there more doors or wheels? You're like prime to answer this question. It, well, it depends on whether you're talking light vehicle or heavy vehicle. Heavy vehicle, it's easy because you got 18 wheelers. So, you know, that's obvious, but it uh, depends on the design. You know, <laughs> am I a three-door coupe? Usually it's wheels. I would say that's a safe bet. Okay. I'm, I'm personally a team doors uh, myself, but <laughs> I know <laughs> probably the minority. I think, I think most people voted towards wheels, especially once they learned like Lego manufacturers, like some odd billion wheels every year. <laughs> I'm team door because it's what pays the bills. That's right. <laughs> um, and uh, as always, you know her, you love her. Uh, this is Mia Merrill. I think she's on the left of my screen, but welcome, Mia. <laughs> uh, you have another fun fact for us? I do. I was the editor of the yearbook uh, my senior year of high school. So I guess it's fitting that I've now moved into the digital space uh, to produce this channel. You, you, you told me also your book. What? Maybe have an Asa Abel yearbook. Oh, yeah. Or at least a Door Hardware Nerds yearbook. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That'd be cool to do like throwback pictures. Um, I, I put on my uh, nerd glasses for you, Mia, because uh, that is definitely a nerdy thing to do as the editor of the year. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, I think I'm sharing another fun fact uh, so the community can get to know us a little bit more as well. Um, fun fact about me is uh, I used to be a Boy Scout. Never got my eagle though. I was so close and I regret not getting that before I turned 18. But um, one thing I learned in the Scouts was how to start fire without a match. And I've been match free since 2007. Wow. Um, yeah. So I just made a wee blows as far as I got. I couldn't start a fire. So I was out. <laughs> <laughs> We blows. Yeah. Um, Scouts. So close. So close. <laughs> Good times. Um, yeah. So match free. If you ever guys need uh, uh, starting a fire in a survivor situation, um, hopefully you have me along because. Uh, <laughs> yeah. OK. So um, for those who don't know how Unhinged works, um, I will share my screen. We'll show some kind of door hardware fail, um, door fail in this case, um, and uh, we'll react. Uh, knock on it, uh, give any helpful tips, and then give it a score, a knocking score. One being not so knocking bad and 10 being pretty knocking bad. Let's get this written up. Let's call the AHJ fire marshal, um, get someone here to take care of this. Um, how does that sound? You guys ready? Oh, absolutely. Okay, you guys ready for uh, door number one? Door number one. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what is What's that? What's behind door number one? <laughs> oh, I saw somebody just <laughs> share this. Yes, I started following Locksmith Journal after you posted something about it the other day. If you aren't following, you probably should uh, on Facebook. Uh, it's this random 
Smith in Texas that just documents what he finds out on the road every day. It's brilliant. And it, it's funny to see what he runs into. But uh, here's the first door. What do you guys think? I think it's wonderful. You've got an in-swing and an out-swing door in the same opening. It's just amazing. So which one goes to the restroom? Which Am I in the restroom or when it's closed? Or am, the, am I in the restroom now? I just don't understand. I'm, I'm really yeah. But I do, I do like it has a retainer at the bottom. So you, you can at least keep it from swinging on somebody. But uh, Knowing context here. So this was like an old vault door, right? That leads to the oh. bathroom. I'd be totally freaked out to go in there, like, because I'd be getting trapped in like, no, thank you. Uh, this would freak me out. I think it is cool, like historically that they've preserved it. I would be nervous. Yeah, especially because I can't really see how if it did somehow close, I don't see any way to get out. <laughs> That's kind of a problem, especially if all the latches go. Yeah. What what kind of uh, emergency egress do they have if that door happened to close or someone like decided to close you in there? That's probably a really heavy door in the first place to try to get out of. Like it looks like stainless framing around it. That's pretty nice. A little nice, you know, aesthetic feature. I know Sandy Matheny would be happy. And uh, we have an aesthetic play. I like the contrasting colors. You know, Mia, you know, it plays off of that. So you have a, a, a green appeal to those that are in the sustainability world. Um, can't tell what's on the other door. And I, I don't know if that's a light or if that's a mirror, which is another weird thing to have in a bathroom. But maybe it's blacked out with some tape. You just don't know. For privacy, maybe it's one way, two way mirror. You never know. Yeah, if it's a bathroom door, uh, I hope that it's covered up for private sake at least. Yeah, I mean, they could have stalls in there. And so you have the light so that you can not open the door on somebody specifically. Yeah, still, uh, the you know, going into like a vault door would freak me out. Maybe it's a bathroom in a fallout shelter. So that if it gets really bad, you can be safe from a nuclear disaster inside and outside, if you know what I'm saying. Bathroom slash tornado shelter slash bathroom. <laughs> hurricane we're ready we're good yeah so not not too knocking bad but i thought it was a really cool application for a restroom door <laughs> so i guess what we rank that what a three to four probably i mean it's, I, I like what mia said historically it's great that they preserved you know i'm sure that may be in an historic building that was been converted or upgraded and repurposed so this is an ultimate repurpose of a vault so I don't know how you plumbed it. Well, other than a lot of times it's just a, a vault door applied to a standard wall sometimes. And when people break in, they tend to not try and go through the wall, which might be the easier access. But I didn't want to share, share any burglar tips with my fellow criminals out there. But <laughs> a Boy Scout would figure that out, right, Ben? That would be <laughs> improvising. I, I think now that I know more about doors, that yes, I would try to break through the wall as opposed to... <laughs> Drywall's not holding anyone back, so. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think this is pretty low, especially if they just kept it there for historic purposes and it doesn't function. I don't see any real violations here. So I think it would be, you know, I don't think it impedes anything. It's probably like a one or a two. And it's and it's it's very purposeful because it's either or. If you look at the signage, it looks like it uh, accommodates um, any gender. So you're good, including handicapped. So that's good. Yeah. And I don't see any ADA violations, so we're good there. Yeah, as long as that door doesn't close, there's no exactly. exactly. Well, yeah, with with caveats, right? Right. <laughs> that vault door ever closes, uh, I don't yeah. know. And uh, uh, yeah, that's not ADA compliant if it closes. <laughs> You've got it propped open for good, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, let's jump into the next one. If you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged, or if you have a photo to submit, leave a comment down below.